So yeah, I promise that there would be more than just the food on this channel. There would actually be other things that I want to talk about. It's mostly artistic stuff, and nothing really gets more artistic than this wonderful opera box. It's the Natalie to say the opera singer box. If you don't know who Natalie to say is, she is a currently retired French opera singer. Uh, she started out in 1992 singing the role of Olympia in the Tales of Hoffman and going all the way to 2013 when she performed as Manon in, well, as an A's Manon. And nowadays, now that she's retired, she has been still performing classical music, but now she's adding in uh, more jazz and chansons, which are chansons. Um, I don't know. My French is awful. Uh, French lyrical songs from the Middle Ages, pretty much. Anyways, so in here is more or less a best of her work. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. On the top there, a bunch of CDs. And then underneath there, you have the DVDs. And then there's a bunch of recital CDs on there as well. I have not opened it. I got this for Christmas. Thank you, Mom. And I've already looked on the side here, and I see a couple of performances. I've, well, not a couple of performances, but at least a couple of operas I've seen her perform in. And it's unfortunate I got into this way too late, because she is just wonderful to watch. I mean, obviously, she's also wonderful to listen to, but she's one of those that will just throw herself into a role. Like, just, if you get a shot, Watch her performance in uh, Lucia de Lamamor, uh, specifically the uh, famous mad scene in the third act where uh, Lucia has uh, just killed her husband and then she comes out there and she's like, and she's all like, da 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 da. Natalie just takes it to another level in how she performs it. I know it's in here. I just don't know how it's packed. I wonder if it's going to be similar to. Similar to my Motown number one hits over there in the corner there where it's like uh, uh, CDs folded up into like little uh, whatever. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. I figured it was going to be sleeves. And it turns out it was sleeves. So let's see what. Let's see what's this. Uh, okay, descriptions of DVDs and CDs. You can see that right there. Ooh, her is Marie in uh, La Fille de Rajamont. Loved her in that role. Loved her in actually most roles she did. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's Dapra Francois. Okay. Mozart Heroines. Okay, so those are the CDs. Uh, ooh, Lucia de Lammore. Natalie de Say and Piotr Bechawa. Okay, so it's not the uh, Met version. I... Okay, this is the CD. Okay. Yeah, the uh, one I remember watching her in was in... Um, the med version of Lucia de Lamamor, and she just absolutely killed it. There's just no other way to describe it. I know there's DVDs in here. What do we got here? Arabella with Curie. Okay, what do we got? 
Bella. Huh. So where's Natalie in the... Oh. The Victor Me? I don't know what role that is. Actually, I don't know what number that is. Okay, so we got that. Offenbach's Orphe. Off. Orphe, off. And there's... Yeah, this is some, like, early stuff there. Oh, here we go. Here's one I haven't seen, but I know of. It's uh, Ariadne Ox of Naxos. Her and Deborah Voigt. Deborah Voigt as Ariadne and Natalie Desai as Zerinetta. I have not seen this one, but I know of it. Let's see. Hamlet. Simone Keeney's side. Oh, in Barcelona. I was wondering when that. So I remember seeing Hamlet, and I remember seeing uh, Simon Keenly's side in Hamlet, but I think it was the uh, a uh, Metropolitan version, Metropolitan Opera version, which did not have Natalie to say in it. Mazinez Manon. Where is this from? 2007. Okay. So not the last one she was in. Hello. Yeah, La Fille de Regiment. I think. Yeah, that's the same one that I that I already have. I have a copy of that over there from the Royal Opera House. It's a fun little opera if you want to see what happens when a little orphan girl gets picked up by a proto Gilbert and Sullivan chorus. And this is an interesting one, La Sonambula. Uh, this particular performance, they opted to do like a, have the set be sort of like a, the rehearsal area of the opera house. It was an odd choice. I'm not sure how well that uh, worked with everyone else. La Traviata. Oh, not the clock version. Okay. The only one I've seen her in was the uh, clock version with uh, Matthew Polanzani. Julio Cesar. Tales of Hoffman. Wait, Kathleen Kim's in this as well. What the? So what role is she playing in this one? Antonia. Okay. Seemed like more of a diva role, but okay. And this is what? Oh, great moments on stage. And then... Nice question, Rondo John Elliott. What was she on stage with Maurice Kirchin? And then we got the bonus CD where it's supposed to be the uh, the uh, big uh, uh, mad scene from uh, Lucia de Lamamore. Although I don't remember her being with the uh, being with some of these uh, people that were in that uh, in that scene, there it might have been a uh, different performance that I saw there. So yeah, all interesting stuff. I would love to get into all that. It is a lot, and I don't necessarily want to drown you in just opera. So just call it that for right now, and I'll occasionally dive into this and. We'll look at a couple of different things. How the hell do I get it back in there? <laughs> I have opened Pandora's box and I don't know how to close it. <laughs> oh boy. This is not good. <laughs> I'll figure this out. Uh, uh, be sure to, uh, if you liked what you saw, then. Be sure to up, up, up. Oh,
Okay. So I have to add an addendum to the video because you might have seen that I had some trouble getting that closed. And as it so happens, because I forced, forced closing of that, I cannot get this thing to open. My awesome Opera Cube is now a $100 Opera paperweight. I have no idea how I'm going to get it open without actually breaking this uh, outer box now. Um, they can probably right along here, just like slit right there, another slit right there, maybe one up top, maybe not, and then it might be able to come free then, but I know, stupid of me, I shouldn't have rushed that. <laughs> as soon as I realized I was having trouble, I should have just stopped. Oh well, happens, you learn, and <laughs> we're gonna move on. Uh, well, if you, uh, enjoyed all that, including me screwing up, do uh, like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell for whenever I upload, and I'll see you next time.